Hi guys and welcome back for another video from Nottingham Music Excellence. I'm going to play Foxglove Swing from the ABRSM Grade 4 syllabus. Bit of a tricky one this. Um, there's a case I think for, for sticking this in the Grade 5 list I think this is quite tricky and the last line is quite nasty. The ending is quite tricky. So stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to make it sound really awesome. Here we go. Okay, so you've heard the music. Now before I play it again at a slightly reduced tempo, I'm going to just say a few words about the music and what you need to make it sound really awesome. So first of all, let's just have a look at the first phrase because I think this in itself is quite tricky. So let's look at the phrasing here. So if we slur all of that, doesn't sound too interesting and it makes that slur down to the A quite tricky. If you tongue it all, sounds a bit sort of rumpty dumpty dump, sounds a bit bouncy, doesn't it? Doesn't sound quite right. So if we do the phrasing as written there exactly, so give the tune, give the notes their full length, but do the phrasing as well. Now that's quite tricky. And of course, do da da. So don't be put off by these enharmonic equivalents. So E to E sharp, of course, is just the F and then F sharp. So as you've completed your first eight bars, of course, the tune then comes back but slightly changes. So that's all good, that's the same as the opening, but then. Again, another, another cause for problems with the notes there. So A, B, and then B sharp. So B sharp, just a middle finger C there. So a big sound up to that A sharp. And of course, don't forget that the A sharp is just the same fingering as your B flat. So if you get as far as that and you get down to bar 14, then I think this next section where you've got a slightly more legato idea is just a, a little bit easier. So that's a little bit nicer, I think, that's okay. But then over on the next page. So just watch your phrasing there and getting the keys in the right place before it comes back to the tune yet again. Okay, so from 33 onwards, now this is where I think this is gonna put pupils under pressure a little bit and it's a little bit harder. So you've gotta really count carefully, listen to the piano, Mm -hmm. 
And of course, as you're playing that nice easy bit, you'll be thinking all the way through that about that last line, which is coming up. So that last thing, it says forte subito, sub. So suddenly forte and really sort of hit those notes accurately. And then the devious last line. Now that last bar is quite evil, isn't it? It's quite, quite tricky that is. So make sure your sax is working really well and you can, and you know what you're doing with the C the, or B sharp sort of, sh should I say, the B sharp to C sharp and then lift both fingers up for that last note on the D. So, so quite tricky that, quite a nasty ending. So just make sure that if you're presenting this one for grade four, you give it lots of practice and really make sure that you've picked the right piece because this is not easy. Okay, so I'm going to replay that performance again now at a slightly slower tempo. See if you can play along with this. I'm just going to keep the saxophone and the clarinet at the same at the same volume level. So try and play along with me and see if you can get it really accurate. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One. Okay, so that's it for Foxglove Swing. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you found it useful. If you did, of course, leave me a comment in that section below and just let me know how you're getting on with this music. Whether you find it easy or you find it really difficult and it's taken you months to practice. Let me know how you're getting on. I'd love to hear from you. But that's a wrap for this one. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.